What is it that you have there? Did you get any more? Garbage thing. It's a little one. Those are good ones. Yes. The chickens were very interested in him, weren't they? <laughs> yeah. What did you say he was looking like? What did you what do you mean? He's like, oh Oh yeah. I probably said a bad word. You did. So this was what I worked on yesterday. You can't really see it, but this is where we'll put the chicks in. It's just a, a, one of those oval stock tanks. So we've got the five chicks that are at the house right now that we'll bring out next weekend. I made a screen to go over the top. For now, I went ahead and put the bedding in there so they'll be ready to go for next weekend. Today, I'm gonna work on this door a little bit. I just made kind of a makeshift little handle right here. So I'm going to attach that on right there, because right now we don't have a handle on the girls. If you see this wire, my dad had put this wire on here to add, add as a, act to act as a support and also to straighten the door out that the girls have obviously been pulling on that, so I need to add a handle. And there's some nails, just some little things that we need to finish up. There's some nails that are or screws that are sticking out. I just need to hand those down. Sydney just hollered at me. Is that s'mores? So we had some yogurt and we get, we, come, we had some yogurt. Where are you going? You can see their faces. Rudy, do you have it on your face too? You got yogurt all over your face. You made a mess. Absolute mess. Now yogurt, here's the thing with dairy, with chickens, they're not mammals obviously, so they don't have the enzymes to digest dairy like we do, but they can have yogurt every now and then as a treat. So I had some in the in the fridge in the camper and I to, it didn't go it was a little bit sour. It wasn't bad, but it was a little bit sour. So I'm like we'll give it to the chickens. And they really enjoyed it. And it's really kind of funny if I can get one of the red ones to come over here. It looked like they stuck their we'll go grab one. It looks like they stuck their head in a can of paint. It was really funny. This is s'mores. This is s'mores. The s'mores the chicken. <laughs> it looks like, yes, it looks like you stuck your face in a can of paint. Big mess. Big mess. Look at you. You can tell that these were raised from chicks. Cinnamon. So these were raised from chicks. Kind of like when you get kittens, right? It's <laughs> snowy, not so much. Valerie saw a hawk out the window. We're at the rental, getting our little bit of a science lesson in right now. Yeah, we think it caught like a black mouse. Like a little mouse, yeah. It was like black. Mm-hmm. You know what he's doing? It's like he's letting it go and he's catching it. He's letting it go and catching it. Yeah, I know. I don't know what he's doing. Are you looking up like he's gonna fly off? They like cats and like to play with their food or something. Oh, you see it? I think I think it might be getting there. Nope, still moving. Moving. there it goes. Is that a mole? It kinda looks like a mole. I don't know. Did he give up? No. You Stop playing with your food. Quit being like a cat. <laughs> so, yes, we are in town in a rental. The chickens, we're not supposed to be, so don't tell anybody. But they'll be here only for a couple more days. They've only been here for a week. They're little bitty guys. Just till we take them to the farm. So they are five weeks, six weeks old, it's right? This is Sweetie. That's Sweetie? He yeah, named this is it. Hazel. Hazel. Looks just like Basil. It does. She's getting, <laughs> look at her feathers. She's got some little extra ones. That's funny. Yeah, so it is. I know. Hey, Hazel. So cute. Look at the other two, or the three. We have five right now. Yeah. So they came last week, and we'll go ahead and take them to the farm this weekend. Tim has been the farm since last week, so it'll be nice to see him today. I'm trying to get the roof done. With school going on, so we're here. We'll head back on Friday. Tim, of course, will go every day, but he will be coming back today. Oh, this is hey, Bunny the Easter Bunny. Egg. Okay, so that's... Bring it down. 
That is an Easter egg. -er. And bunny. And bunny. Yeah. Okay, bunny. Valerie is trying to get one. Yeah. Try not to let her squawk. Mm -hmm. I don't really want somebody to call. <laughs> So hey, speaking they of, don't call about Bailey. They don't I know, try. yeah. When we had our dogs here, Bailey barked a lot. She's not a good in-town dog. Um, speaking of people who have animals where they're not supposed to, one of my dancers a couple years ago was living in the dorms, and she got ducks, and had ducks in the dorms, and apparently whichever dorm she was in, they had routine checks and things like that. So I actually babysat her ducks once. <laughs> so she wouldn't get in trouble. And when they got too big, she had to obviously take them to the farm. That's a pretty one. This is Gunner. Gunner? Okay, she's pretty. Yeah. I don't remember what kind these are. I'll have to look at the note. Mm -hmm. She's a pretty one. See? I'm saying she. We don't really know. Uh, these are straight runs, so uh, like they should hopefully be hens, but we don't know if there's any roosters in there or not. We'll find out. Do you think so? Mine. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, fun. All right, back inside. I'm making bacon potato soup tonight, which is super yummy. That website, or excuse me, that uh, recipe is on the blog. Really, really good. Since I'm doing the low FODMAP diet, or basically, it's not a diet, low FODMAP modifications, I will be using gluten-free flour and that, and then I'll be using onion tops instead of regular onion. Everything else should be fine. I've passed the other stuff. It's really just wheat. That'll be Really, really good. What are you doing? Hi, baby. How are you? This is one of our new kitties. Yeah, she is very friendly. I can't get you too close. <laughs> hey. This is Everest. And you can see her ears clipped, so that means that she was an outside cat in town, or if she's not feral at all. Usually they have a feral cat, so they do that. But she is super friendly. We have two new kitties for the barn. Yeah. Very friendly. Can I get a picture? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come here. Thank you. Yeah, we Very go. friendly. Let's go look at some plants. So I was going to show you this over here. Sorry if it's a little bumpy. All the grasshoppers are flying all over. So over here, is where we have a lot of that string and I don't remember how long ago it was. That was when I had to go to the doctor and get on antibiotics because I had that infection in my pinky. Anyway, it's almost like Mother Earth knows that I'm pulling it and she's just pushing it up because I come out here, it seems like once a month, I come out and I pull it up and then more of it comes up. And when I pull it up, there's nothing left and it's just it just keeps working its way up. It's crazy. So I came through here yesterday, and I did pull some of that up, but you can you can see there's just little pieces of it kind of everywhere, and that's the same with the area to the south of the house, and there's glass like this. Keep finding glass everywhere, right there. Picking that up, sorry, the cat's hitting my hand. There's some metal, lots of metal, but it's just, keep finding this stuff, keep cleaning it up, keep finding it. So it's really sad, it's very disappointing, but you know, when you get old, old farms, this is kind of what you get, because if people aren't living out here, I may mean, hate to say it, but they kind of don't care, and they just throw stuff on the ground, and that's where it goes. So I'll continue to work on this. I don't know if we'll ever get it cleaned up. Like here, here's some cloth, old cloth. And that was not, I mean, I've been mowing this all summer, cleaning it up as I go. This stuff over here, that's where the, the burn pile is. But, you know, through here, there's some, there's some, there's some. It's just, it's everywhere. Isn't that right? The girls named her Everest because she looks like a mountain cat. That's what they said. They said she looks like one of those really stocky, woolly mountain cats, which you do. She reminds me of a cat we had when I was growing up. His name is Harley, because she looks, I know it sounds terrible, she looks a little rough, but she's a sweetheart. Yes, you are. You're a sweetheart. Yes, you are. You're doing really good, aren't you? Yeah. Let's go find the other one. The other one's Peppercorn, and he's a kitten, and he's 
Well, he, I don't know how old he is. He's, he's not a kitten kitten. See, here's more glass. See that? Right there, and that's a big chunk and a cat. Anyway, peppercorn, that's the black one. Tim had grabbed two of them. The, um, he's maybe, I don't know, he's a little, maybe six, six months to a year. Not sure, he's super friendly, but he's kind of crazy. There's a lady that I know, and she had put a post online, and out of desperation, she's basically said, please come and give these cats a good home. I had 16 cats on my front porch this morning, and basically people, this was in town, people in her neighborhood are not taking care of the animals. The catch and release program had been catching these, these animals, and that's what they do. They'll catch them, and they'll spay or neuter them, and clip their ear, and oh, there's more glass, clip their ear, and then release them back, and you'll know that they've been fixed because their ear has been clipped. And... Anyway, she said, please come and give these cats new homes. They don't have an owner. They're just multiplying like crazy. So we went out and picked up two of them. I treated them for fleas yesterday, which they don't really seem to be having any issues, but they seem to be really happy and healthy, right? You think?